What's up guys? It's Double Nix and today I'm going to be talking to you about another IPO ticker symbol SKUD. I say again SKWD Sierra Kilo Window Delta also known as Skyward Specialty Insurance Group Inc. Now, before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, just want to let you guys know to check out the $5 Discord. Link is in the description down below to get more IPO news and other things that are going on with the IPOs and stay up to date and informed about all the IPOs in our private Discord channel for IPOs. And Please note, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into this video, I am not a stock advisor. I am not a stock professional. Do your own due diligence. And without further ado, let's get right into the meat and potatoes of the video. So, this is another IPO that will be IPOing on the NASDAQ exchange between January 12th and 13th of 2023. Speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen, if you if I haven't said so already, Happy New Year. Anyways, <laughs> I keep forgetting it's 2023, ladies and gents. It's, it's surprising. 2022 went by so fast. So, anyways, the price range for this stock is going to be between $14 to $16 per share. That's right. It's going to be a little bit on the higher end as far as uh, the price is concerned. Now... It has 8.5 million shares, and the deal size is going to be 127.5 million shares. So it's going to have a relatively good float, and the deal size is going to be pretty big for them. So this is a United States company born in the USA. Now... It was founded back in 2007. Wow, that's a long time ago. My God, I was seven years old by that time. It's in the financials industry insurance sector, meaning these guys deal in insurance, you know, like Geico and all those other things. They like that, only they deal in other insurance. So they're not, they're not Geico, but they deal in insurance. Anyways. These guys have 441 employees, which is relatively sizable. That's pretty good. They are a growing specialty insurance company. So basically what they do is they deliver commercial property and casualty products as well as solutions on non-admitted or an admitted basis, mainly in the United States of America, which means they probably do a little bit of operations outside of the U.S., but not much. I mean, chances are good they're probably planning on diversifying, but again, I don't know. All right, I'm just reading what they wrote here. All right, this is my research. Again, not a stock professional, not a stock advisor. Do your own due diligence. These guys focus on markets that are underserved, dislocated, and or for which standard insurance coverage is insufficient or inadequate. Meaning, if a business doesn't have in it a good insurance, they step in. That's basically what that means. And basically what they do is they give these guys, these businesses, the proper solutions that can meet the needs of the business that they are working for. They're basically a business insurance company. And specialty insurance, they basically will go above. What they're saying here is that we will go above and beyond for your business. And we'll basically do what your business needs to survive as far as your insurance goes. That's basically what they're planning on doing here. And that's what they basically say they do. All right. Now, they would also develop and deliver tailored insurance products and services to address each of the niche markets they serve, meaning they serve a variety of different types of businesses that work in different types of sectors. That's basically what they're saying here. So they got a variety of stuff going on here. So really, what do I personally think about this stock? I think it's very interesting. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to check into it yet. Don't know. Uh, but 
as far as I'm concerned, it seems good. But again, I'm not a stock professional. I'm not a stock advisor. Do your own due diligence. These are my opinions. I'm just here for entertainment. Da 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 da. Hey, that's what we do here. So, that's pretty much it for me. Again, not a stock professional, not a stock advisor. Do your own due diligence. Don't go typing, tip tapity tip tap and typing in my comment section saying, hey, you're doing it. No, no, I'm not giving you any advice. If you buy into it and you lose money, that's on you. If you make money, good for you. All right, but again, not my advice. Do your own due diligence. All right, I'm just here to entertain. That's it for me. It's Double Nix. I love you guys. And I'm out. Peace. Bye-bye.